Okay, come and watch as I demonstrate for you my earthy and easy ornamental pine Christmas card. My earthy Christmas card is easy to make with a beautiful ornamental pine stamp set. I want to share some tips for you today when you're doing assembly line. And so we're starting here with our very vanilla cardstock, Early Espresso Classic Stampin' Pad, and I want the greeting on this side, and I will have this piece over here. So let's just set this here to get a good feeling of where we want the greeting. Because without it, you'll probably go over too far. I know I need to be close to this edge, but that gives me a good reminder that I want to be over here. And there we go. Uh, welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And for nearly 14 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So now we have the beautiful pine and mossy meadow classic stampin' pad. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. All right, get this inked up. And I know I want my branches to come over here like this. Or I should say my pine needles, my branch, but my pine needles. I want this. Beautiful. One of my favorite techniques are tone on tone. And so now when I bring back the greeting that we just stamped, it's not shoved up to it and it's looking really good for the next step. When doing the assembly line, you're looking for the easiest way to get them done. So for the next step, let's try an experiment. I have here again the Mossy Meadow Classic Stampin' Pad, our pine stamp. So let's see if we do a better job, or if it even makes a difference, by die cutting before or after the stamping. So we'll just go ahead and stamp because I don't have to think about it because I can center it with the die cutting. So let's pull out the Big Shot and see. So I have here my Big Shot Magnetic Platform. Love, love, love. You absolutely want that. Cutting pad. And now here is our cardstock that's stamped. And I have the Ovals Collection Framelits. And we're going to use this one. And so see, I can center this where I want it. Thinking, hmm, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then our cutting pad. Right, and out on the other side, we have it looking pretty good. So, what? let's see what happens if I just go ahead and die cut a plain piece first, and then do the stamping. <laughs> okay, now we're going to compare and see how well we do by stamping after. We have our pine again, and the Mossy Meadow Classic Stampin' Pad. Ink this up. And let's go ahead and stamp after. I know I want my pine needles to come over here. So turn. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. And stamp. Let's see. Hey, pretty doggone close. And either or, or work for me. So I'm going to say we're going to save time and cardstock by die cutting all of our wanted to add a layer to this but it would have been too big for my card so what I decided to do instead was sponge around it to give it a full layer. So I have here the early espresso, the same color we used for uh, the greeting, a sponge dauber, and go around the outside and quickly sponge this. So you can do as little or as much as you like. You can come up into it even further. But I'm liking this look. At this step, you may be thinking, boy, she has that greeting stamped over way too far to the left. This doesn't look balanced at all. But look what happens when I use Stampin' Dimensionals and add our oval, nestling it right in there. Now it's looking very good and balanced. Here we are with my completed earthy and easy ornamental Christmas card. I added this layer of Stampin' Dimensionals, an easy way to dress up a simple card. And for our little something something inside, I have the pine needles stamped again in the mossy meadow and Christmas wishes 
also included in the ornamental pine stamp set in early espresso and of course we have a coordinating envelope on a very vanilla medium envelope more pine needles in mossy metal for a beautifully coordinated card and envelope if you'd like to get my earthy and easy ornamental pine christmas card all you need to do is place your December 2014 Stampin' Up! order with me in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.